Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and in this week of weekly talks, I'm going to take a peculiar subject. Uh, just a couple of weeks, I posted a video on uh, secrets of success and uh, quite a few of you have actually liked that video. So this is a video on a very different uh, topic that is uh, fear of not being good. And uh, this is something that is sort of important and uh, I'll also share my personal experience. Let me actually put this uh, on a tripod. So yeah, let's continue. By the way, I'm recording with the S7 Edge uh, front facing camera. And this is the topic that I wanted to talk in this video. That is fear of not being good. And this can be really devastating to you. You won't even realize this. Uh, but this is one of the barriers that is very critical. And you have to actually come over that to be successful, I feel. Uh, let me actually take uh, uh, my example personally. Uh, you might be really surprised that I was a very introvert guy. I was that kind of a person who never used to even come in the photographs in our family photos or whatever. I used to hardly be there. I used to run away from the cameras and look at me now. I'm making YouTube videos. I show my face every day. So that, that was a huge fear. I would say that I had uh, showing up myself, expressing myself, but I had to overcome uh, this fear. Otherwise, I won't have been here on YouTube. And also, uh, this fear of not being good is something uh, that is really important. Let me give you a very old example. I was actually a programmer uh, in my early uh, age, I would say. This is uh, when uh, we had Windows uh, 3.1. I don't recall the year. Must be about 90 or uh, something like that uh, I was actually really good in uh, uh, what do you say that time we had DOS Windows 3.1 was there but still you need to uh, run many of the programs were in DOS and I was good in Turbo C uh, that's a programming language uh, you could make programs and stuff and uh, uh, in those days when you let's say even if you have to move from one directory to another directory you had to uh, run commands like CD space directory and if you want to copy one file from this directory to other directory you have to write multiple commands paths and stuff and it was really complicated so I thought of making a program uh, uh, in uh, what do you say turbo c that could easily when you invoke the program it shows all your directory listing and you can just navigate using the cursor and move around and manipulate the files and it actually worked after about three months uh, two and a half three months i could make the program but as i had that fear of not being good i in fact found bugs in that program myself about four critical bugs that ne never used to happen all the time but with some critical action they used to happen and I never released that program. I eventually fixed those bugs after two, three months. But by that time, I actually had some new ideas and I just kept adding new uh, functionality to that software. And after a year or so, I just realized I had spent a lot of time on this uh, software, though it was pretty good and functional, but I just had the fear that it was not as good as some of the other commercial related programs. Hence, I never actually released it. And thereafter, Windows 95 came and it was the GUI interface and a program like that simply did not make any sense. Sense. So it was the fear of uh, failure and not being good that uh, actually I didn't even realize uh, release that uh, software. And when I showed that software to my friends, they told me, hey, man, this is a very good utility. Why didn't you release it? So I was like, yes, it was the fear of not being good and not being the best that prevented me from actually releasing that. So again, this uh, will be applicable in any field. Let's say if you're trying to do anything new there your body your mind is built in such a way that it will resist the change it will say not to do this it will uh, show you what say the fear factors you'll be failure you'll be what you'll be what not let's say even let's say you want to start a youtube channel or something you always have that fear that you are not uh, as good as this person or that person and what might be the comments that you might get or what not why do you worry about it just post it the biggest failure for you would be not even trying it and then failing it i would suggest that try it 10 times and then if you fail it's fine but if you didn't even try it just for the be, uh, uh, being the fear of uh, what you say being not good then uh, simply you have to blame yourself obviously you won't be good the first time you try something second time or third time obviously it will be not that good just watch uh, some of my videos that I have posted what do you say earlier in 2011 or whatever the total utter rubbish I would say uh, but I didn't give up obviously there is a saying I don't know uh, which uh, someone said this if you do uh, something continuously over and over and over and over again and again you and after some time actually you sort of become an expert in that 
so just trust yourself and just don't compare yourself with x y z or whatever and get that feeling of fear of not being good out of your mind because that is one of the biggest things that can uh, pull you down also if you're starting a youtube channel or something yes uh, I, I there are like fears that hey, what will people comment about my video somebody might say say it sucks or whatever forget about it okay and if you get comments also generally in youtube yes you might get five or ten percent negative comments uh, but you're forgetting the fact that let's say you're getting 90 percent of the positive comments Concentrate your energy on the positive comments and the constructive feedback and uh, uh, pay attention to that rather than the 5 or 10 percent negative comments that you might get. So again, uh, overcome this uh, feeling of that fear of not being good and I feel uh, that way you can open up a lot more horizons. So again guys, this was a thought that uh, actually came to my mind and I feel this is a sort of important topic. Uh, last week I also posted a poll question. Uh, so let's uh, look at the results for the same. So this is my computer. Let's look at the poll results. And uh, we did that last weekly talk on May 8th. So it should be in the cards. And let me pause this video. And it is, how often uh, do you buy new smartphones? And the highest votes that we got was for one to two years, and that's 55%. Strangely, uh, the second position was between two to three years that got a vote of 23%. I thought the six months to one year uh, would be at the second position, but six months to one year is 11%. And uh, some of you use uh, more than three years, that's about 5%. And uh, within six months is just 3%. So thank you guys for all the votes. And we got a total of uh, 2,800 uh, votes. So again, guys, that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.